All right, in this string here, we're going to alternate between addition and subtraction. Not much is changing here other than that alternation. And we're going to use the clock to think about why these answers that we find make sense. Um, so you might want to pause the video, solve these yourself, look for great patterns, and then when I solve them, see if or compare our approaches. So I start by adding a third and a sixth and thinking that, well, a third is like 20 minutes, a sixth is like 10 minutes, so I get a half an hour, right, which is 30 out of 60, or one half. And the sixth might be a little bit tougher, but we'll go through both of these before we move on. A third of an hour, if we split our clock into three equal pieces, that brings us at intervals of 20. If we split our clock at intervals of six, right, Oops, I don't like that color. Six pieces. What we have are 10 minute intervals. So six are like 10 minute intervals. And that means that in the next one we have 20 minus 10, which gives us 10 out of 60, or 1 sixth. Now, 3 fourths plus 2 thirds. Well, which is green now. If I cut this clock into four pieces, these green pieces here, right? There we go. You can see that. Each chunk is 15 minutes. So three fourths is like having three chunks of 15 minutes or 45 minutes plus two thirds. Well, we established before that one third is 20 minutes, two thirds is 40 minutes. And that gives us 85 out of 60 minutes, which is like an hour, and 25 out of 60 minutes, we can reduce that. 25 out of 25 out of 60 divide numerator and denominator by five, we get five twelfths. So one and five twelfths. Cool. So here we have 45 minus 40, which gives us five minutes. All right. This is the same problem. We're just subtracting five out of 60. And we divide both numerator and denominator by 5, we get 1 out of 12. So here we also can see that 1 12th is equal to 5 out of 60. That's going to help us here. 11 twelfths, well, I'm not going to draw 12 lines here, but if we cut 60 in 12 pieces, each one would be 5 minutes. And that's what we're establishing right here, that 1 12th is 5 minutes, 5 out of 60. So 11 twelfths is like 55 minutes plus 5 sixths. Well, what do we say before? 1 sixth is like 10 minutes. So 5 sixths is 50 minutes. So that's 105 minutes. 105 out of 60. That's like 1 hour and 45 minutes. 45 out of 60. Reduce that by dividing numerator and denominator by 5 and we get um, sorry, 9 twelfths. Here when we're subtracting, this is a little bit easier, right? 55 minus 50 gives us 5 out of 60. Same thing here, which is 1 12th. Okay, we're going to move on to some tougher ones next.